Yo, what up people? So today I want to show you one of my favorite features in DaVinci Resolve and that's speed ramping. So let's jump in. Okay, as you saw in the intro, this is what I made. All right, it's basically pretty easy. You have a retime control. You can uh, right click and hit retime control and you get this speed change. Or you can just hit come on R. This one you can play with. You just add speed points. So I'll show you how this looks when it's ready. Okay, this is the first clip. Here I have first normal speed. And at this point, I wanted to change to a lot faster. And you do it like this. You have a clip, you look at it, okay. And maybe you want a speed point right there. You hit command R, you hit this little arrow and add speed point here. Now you see you have two different 100% speeds. And here you can change this to whatever. You can change it to 800. And now you have it sped up. And this is pretty cool. But you can also do it like this. You can hover over the top of this. When you see this black arrow with both sides arrow you can grab that and just start pulling it back and you see the percentage will increase and this is very handy i used to work with premiere premiere pro and i think this is way easier and faster to make it like this because you can just hit command r check where you want to have the speed point hit add speed point and either you can also do it another way you see you have two handles here and what you can do is take the lower one and it will shift where the speed point is but if you take the upper one, you will affect the speed. So if I want to do it like this, I have sped up the clips really, really easy, really fast. We have a slight problem here because now it's linear that it goes from 100 to whatever the speed is that you want to speed up or you can also speed down of course if you have frame rates for that but now we need to do we right click and we hit retime curve and now opens up another window so and then we just hit the bottom the the small dot and here you can see it's linear or a curve and when you hit the curve you get these handles and these handles are what adjusts the curve and you can adjust the handles if you just adjust it like this it will affect both sides of the handle but if you hit command and adjust it you will adjust only one side of the the point so yeah here I maybe want a little bit more there and a little bit more there and then I do the same here retime curve and just hit that one and automatically it makes it 
So now, when we play back, we have a smoother transition from the speed changes. And that's what the speed ramp is all about. Then we basically just, if I wanna add another speed point, I just go here, add speed point, and then I can, again, grab this upper, upper corner and just speed it up. And I can also make the clip longer by selecting this lower point of the clip when you get this white kind of marker and then you can just drag it out and the, the speed will be the same. So here, then I speed it up a little bit more and take the next clip. This one is a clip that's shot in 60 frames per second and I have a 24 frames timeline. So here I wanna first speed up so I can just hit this and make it like 800. But here I actually wanna speed it down because I have some frames that I can use. So I can again take this upper corner and just drag it out. And now I can make it 40% because that's the maximum amount. And now we have it like this. And maybe I wanna change the position where the speed point is so I get it better and now and then I just drag this out so I have a little bit more. So pretty much like this. And then just remember to hit retime control, make it a curve, adjust it as you like. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then of course you wanna add some music, you want to add some sound effects just to make it better. So let's check it one more time. Okay, the more you play around with it, the faster you get and the, the more you kind of figure out what you can do with it. But I think it's a really, really effective way to make cool edits. And it's super fast because you don't have to think about what percentage it is if you know how long the clip should be. So then you just drag it and it will make it that percentage. Okay, hope you learn something new and maybe you get interested in making this kind of edits. And if there's something you want to tell me or something that you're wondering about, I'm happy to hear in the comments. Otherwise, just like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to follow me in my YouTube journey. And I see you people in the next one. <laughs>